Welcome to the Blake and Taylor guide to a rustic, textured paint finish. What is chalk furniture paint? It's an easy decorative paint that adheres to a number of different surfaces with minimal prep. Australian made, premium quality and water-based. It's as easy as one, two, three. Just clean, paint, protect. Turn outdated furniture into something beautiful. Let's begin. Gather your materials. Remember to do any repairs, fill any holes, and remove your hardware. Step 1. Make sure your piece is clean and remove any dirt and grease. No need for heavy sanding. You may choose to do a light scuff sand which will help smooth away any imperfections. Step 2. Applying your paint. Stir your tin and pour out what you need into a separate container. The key to this look is texture, so we want the paint to be a thicker consistency. Do this by leaving the paint out to dry and thicken. Let's paint. With a thicker paint, we want to create more texture and visible brush marks. Do this by painting in every direction. Try speeding up the drying process with gentle heat from a hairdryer. This will cause the paint to crack in areas, creating a weathered, worn texture. Once your paint has dried, you may want to consider combining some of the other techniques in our guides. You could try applying a paint wash with thinned paint. Or try dry brushing over the textured areas to highlight the brush marks and detail. For this project, we are going to combine different colored waxes along with sanding to achieve a rustic industrial look. First, we will apply white wax. You can do this with a brush, sponge applicator or lint-free cloth. Wipe away any excess to reveal the texture and previous brush marks. Next, in areas, layer over black wax this will deepen your color and help create more texture. Wipe away the excess with your cloth. Time to sand and distress. Start with a medium grade sandpaper and sand in areas you would like the look of age and wear. Edges and corners are easier to remove paint. Adding texture should be fun and interesting. Play around and see what you can create yourself. For added protection, your paint will need to be sealed. We will be using natural wax. Step 3. Protect. Wax can be applied using a clean brush, sponge applicator or lint-free cloth. For this project, we'll use a cloth. Apply one final layer of natural wax to make sure the whole piece has been sealed and protected. If you want a matte finish, allow the wax to dry overnight without buffing. If you want a satin finish, allow to dry for around 30 minutes, then buff with a lint-free cloth. Water transformation. If you like this video and want to learn more techniques, then check out our other guides and videos at www.blakeandtaylorpaint.com.au